Hey, my name's Rob, and this is the GoPro Hero 9 waterproof action camera, and I've been using it for a year now. So I've carried this camera with me around everywhere, all over Southeast Asia. The quality of the camera is just stunning. I find it's very rich and luxurious on the eyes. I really enjoy it for my scenery shots, especially when it comes to taking pictures of things like oceans and sunrises, sunsets. Uh, this is underwater right now. I've also used it underwater diving you can see here i'll let you hear the volume it's pretty neat that the microphone works underwater i've also used it for um, snapshots not only video footage but it takes great still shots i've used it for action like surfing you can see here right now you're listening to me on the uh, gopro mic and it's got a waterproof seal on it so you can hear me pretty good with the waves, I'm outdoors. And you can also take great time-lapse shots. So you can see here that it's sped up. Uh, you can also take great still shots of sunrises. Again, here's an example of the microphone. Here's an example of a still shot that I took. For such a tiny, robust camera, it just gives off such a powerful, rich color and sound as well. You can hear the waves. It's just an incredible microphone on there. And I find it uh, really gives off this clear, stunning, rich picture that people seem to really enjoy. I really enjoy it. So it has an LCD control screen on the back where you can go through different features. There's the shutter on the top there where you can take quick pictures or start the video. What really surprised me is how tough it is. It's been in extreme heat. It's been in salt water. It's been underwater. It's been dropped. It comes with two batteries that just slide in and it just pops in and I find water has never gotten in which I was really worried about so I was really happy about that. Okay so you can see here that you can take different um, speed shots so you can go slow extra slow it goes all the way down to super slow of down to eight times super slow it has standard um, speed as normal speed and then you can you have the slow speed as well. So this is the main control screen of the camera on the back of this LCD control panel and I find it very organized and easy to maneuver around. Here you can change, there's some presets already for you. There's a standard shot, there's an activity shot, there's a cinematic shot. It comes uh, built in when with it already. There's a slow-mo shot and then you can add more presets. If you want to uh, change the presets, you can also do that as well. And again, in the settings, you can change, you can go up to 5K in resolution. Uh, you can change this width of the camera. So you could go to a 16.34 millimeter camera if you wanted to. You can go wide, you can go more linear. You can go super wide and super max wide. Um, as well, here's some more features. You can change the pixels. You can change um, how fast the shutter speed is. So there's a lot of different options. It only weighs 11.2 ounces and I find it's very easy to travel with. It just fits very compact into any bag that I'm taking. So I'm in some pretty remote, crazy places. So it's nice to have a nice small device. And you can capture up to 24 frames per second. I find that um, the i don't even go full max on the resolution i usually do like somewhere in the middle and i find it just gives off stunning stunning footage hey, i i can't live without this camera and when my travel vlogs have been so impressive to people and i've really managed to capture really brilliant shots and footage and um, with such a small little device it just packs such a powerful punch uh, i'll continue to use this for forever i love it as you can see here that I'm setting the pixels there and the frame rate. When you touch the screen, it's very responsive. Like it doesn't stick. Uh, I was worried that maybe the settings wouldn't move very well, but they, they're very sensitive. And it's amazing. Like I've been using this under the water and different conditions and different weather. And I find the um, this, this screen is very responsive and touches really, really well. I'll use both batteries in like a half a day when I'm doing a lot of filming. So they last maybe anywhere from four to six hours between the two batteries. And I find that um, it's very easy to get the footage off of the camera into another device. I just download it with the app that it comes with it. Uh, you, you can also use it the USB Type-C and just transfer it to any device as well. This camera has made me um, seem like a professional um, filmmaker and um, I, I really enjoy it and it's, it works just as good as it did on day one.